Hello friends, it's Miss Leslie from the Everett Public Library. Welcome back to Preschool Storytime. Let's have some fun. Let's see what's in the apron pockets today. Here's my apron. What could be in the pockets? Oh my, look at this. It's one You know what that is? It's a snowflake. And here is another snowflake. The thing about snowflakes is there are no two that are alike. They are all different from each other. And do you know how many points a snowflake has? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six points to a snowflake. It's the time of year when the rain that falls from the sky might get cold enough to turn into snow. And it will snow and snow. Here's a really big one. And snow until, oh look at that one, has a hole in the middle. It will snow so much that it might put a blanket of snow on the ground and the world will be cold covered with this frosty white snow would you go outside and play in that snow yes you would if you were a child you would go out wait before you go outside you have to put on some clothes. You need to put on boots. This kid has red boots. He has blue pants, a gray coat. Oh, and there's his scarf. Let's dress him just like a little doll. Yeah, when he goes outside his house, he can go outside because he has all these warm clothes to put on. Here's a hat. He can put on his head. And his little doggy, his little doggy can go outside and play in the snow and then go inside the house. That animal lives in a house. What do other animals do who don't live in houses? Here is a white bunny. Sometimes bunnies hop, 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 hop around in snow. Some animals like to stay outside in the snow, but some animals, they think, burr, it's too cold. Like this bird, birds think it's too cold. They do something called migrate. They fly away to where it's warm. Maybe they fly to Santa Barbara or Mexico, away from the frosted flakes of snow. Bye-bye, bird. See you in the springtime. It's a time of year that animals also do something. They go inside a cave. And do you know what they do? They go to sleep like this great big bear. This is a great big bear. Do you see this bear sleeping? This bear is sleeping. And when they sleep all winter, that's called hibernating. Let's have some stories about animals in the winter. What do animals do in the winter? Let's find out. I have a book we can read. It is called Baby Bear Counts One. Baby Bear Counts One is by Ashley Wolf. There's that cute baby bear. And this book was published by Beach Lane Books, which is a part of Simon & Schuster. We are reading it with their permission. Baby Bear counts one. Deep down in the den, Baby Bear perks his furry ears up. Thunk, 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 thunk. Mama, who woke me, he asks. That is a woodpecker, says his mama, hunting for beetles before the winter comes. And Baby Bear counts one. Do you see that one woodpecker? With one bug? <laughs> High in the oak 
twig tree, twigs rattle and snap. Plunk, plunk. Ouch, says baby bear. Mama, who hit me? Well, those are the squirrels, says mama. Collecting acorns before the winter comes. And baby bear counts two. Do you see two squirrels? One, two. They each have an acorn in their mouth. Down by the pond, Mama digs for roots. Whap, whap, whap. Who is clapping for us, Mama? Asks Baby Bear. Well, those are the beavers, says Mama Bear. They're gathering twigs before winter comes. And Baby Bear counts three. Do you see three beavers? Where are they? One, we'll count their noses. One, two, three beavers. At the edge of the field, Mama waits. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Who is munching in there, Mama? Asks Baby Bear. Well, those are the deer and the crows, says Mama. They're filling up on sweet corn before the winter comes. And Baby Bear counts four. One, two, three, four. Mama and Baby Bear wade into a tangle of vines. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Who is talking in there, Mama? Asks Baby Bear. Those are the turkeys, says Mama. They're feasting on grapes before the winter comes. And Baby Bear counts six. Six turkeys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eating grapes. Baby Bear finds an apple in the tall grass. Bzzz. Who's mad at me, Mama? asks Baby Bear. Those are the bees, says Mama. They're storing up honey before the winter comes. And Baby Bear counts seven bees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Mama and Baby Bear head home as they pass the pond. Kerplop, kerplip, kerplop. Who is splashing me, Mama? asks Baby Bear. Well, those are the frogs, says Mama. They're catching flies before winter comes. And Baby Bear counts Eight. Eight frogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mama looks to the sky. Honk, honk, honk. Who is calling to us, Mama? asks Baby Bear. Oh, those are the geese, says Mama. They're flying south before winter comes. And Baby Bear counts nine. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can only see the tail feathers of that one. <laughs> nine geese. At night, as night falls, the wind blows cold. Baby bear shivers. Ding! Suddenly something lands on his tongue. What tastes so cold, Mama? asks Baby Bear. Well, those are the snowflakes, says Mama, filling the sky now that winter has come. And Baby Bear counts ten snowflakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mama and Baby curl together, cozy inside their den. Outside, the snowflakes keep falling. Too many to count. That is Baby Bear Counts One by Ashley Wolf. Isn't that a nice counting story? Now, let's see. I have a song to teach you. We're going to put this kid in his house. And his little dog, too. And let's talk about this bear. We have a song that is about hibernation. It's when you go to sleep. So can you pretend to sleep? And hibernation is a time to sleep 
time, sometimes I put, point to my wrist when I talk about time so that we know it's time to go to sleep. So it goes like this. Hibernation, time for hibernation. Hibernation, time to go to sleep. In the winter, where's the bear? He's sleeping in his cave or lair. Where's the bear? In his lair. Ho, 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 ho. Hibernation, time for hibernation. Hibernation, time to go to sleep. In the winter, what is this? Where's the frog? He's sleeping underneath a log. Where's a frog? Under the log. Where's the bear? In his lair. Ho, 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 ho. Hibernation. Time for hibernation. Hibernation. Time to go to sleep. In the winter. Where's the snake? He's sleeping at the bottom of the lake. Where's the snake? In the lake. Where's the frog? Under the log. Where's the bear? In his lair. Oh, 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 oh. Hibernation. Time for hibernation. Hibernation. Time to go to sleep. We have one more. In the winter. Where's the bat? Sleeping in his cave is where he's at. Where's the bat? In the cave he's at. Where's the snake? The bottom of the lake. Where's the frog? Under the log. Where's the bear? In his lair. Ho, 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 ho. Hibernation. Time for hibernation. Hibernation. Time to go to sleep. That's a little song about what animals do in the winter. They hibernate. Now let's do this. You can make a little cave out of your hand like this and put a bear inside. Do you see that bear in the cave? All right, so let's do this. Here's a cave and inside is a bear. <laughs> now he comes out to get some fresh air. <laughs> he stays out all summer in the sunshine and the heat. He looks for in the forest for berries to eat. But when the snow starts to fall, he hurries inside his warm little cave and there he will hide. Snow covers the cave like a fluffy white rug, but the bear is inside. He sleeps all cozy and snug. Night night bear. All right, so when we go outside, we bundle up. Here's a song about bundling up. It goes like this. The weather's getting cold, so bundle up, bundle up, bundle up. The weather's getting cold, so bundle up. Who, who, winter's coming soon. That's how it goes. Winter's coming soon. The bears in the cave sleep all the time, all the time, all the time. The bears in the cave sleep all the time. Winter's coming soon. What else? The squirrels in the trees get lots of nuts. Lots of nuts, lots of nuts. The squirrels in the trees get lots of nuts. Winter's coming soon. What else do we see? The frogs and the toads go deep in the mud. Deep in the mud, deep in the mud. The frogs and the snakes go deep in the mud. Winter's coming soon. The ducks and the birds go flying south. Flying south, flying south. The ducks and the birds go flying south. Winter's coming soon. The people in the town wear hats and gloves, hats and gloves, 
hats and gloves. The people in the town wear hats and gloves. Winter's coming soon. All right, I think it's time for the word of the day. What could it be in this cute little library box? Here is our word of the day. Oh my. All right, the first letter is a W. It's W and it sounds like wah, wah. It makes a wah sound. Here's this straight up and down letter. Do you see that? It's an I. Makes a uh sound. Then this letter, you know what it is? You're right, it's an N. It goes mmm. Mmm. This one, you know it. T. Ta, ta, ta. Let's see if we can fit it all on. Here's Mr. E. E. Oh, we always run out of room, don't we? We need room for one more R. Winter. That's the word of the day. Winter. That's the word of the day. Well, thank you, friends, for joining me with Preschool Storytime. Please stay safe out there and say hi. Bye-bye.